Hey, I'm Robert Cooksaw Manufacturing. Uh, we're here at our HD 3238, and I want to show you a little bit about uh, tension on our drive belt. Uh, we do have bigger mills and we have smaller mills, uh, but our belt tension system will be the same across all of our sawmills. Uh, the only difference is if you have our MP32 mill, you have a single band belt, uh, while our hydraulic mills do have the double band belt. Uh, to engage the blade, we're using this handle here and it has a idler pulley and that puts tension on the belt. Um, so engage the blade and disengage the blade. Very, very simple. Uh, can we put a clutch on our sawmill? We can put a clutch on it. Will a clutch give you problems? A clutch will give you problems on a mill. We want to be very simple. We want you to be able to make field repairs while you're sawing. We don't want to have you to wait for downtime to get a new clutch in. Uh, so we have gone with the mechanical system and we've been doing that for years and we really like it. Um, now checking tension on our belt, we've got a small little uh, belt tension gauge. Um, you can buy this from our store online. We'll put a link in the description below. But uh, on our drive belt, now first we want to engage our belt. So engage it, have tension on the belt. And if you're having problems with it slipping, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it's too loose. Um, if it's fl flopping around, vibrating real bad, it is also too loose. Uh, but we've got a little gauge here, and we'll put it as center as we can on the pulleys. Push down, check the tension of our belt, and we want to be at 100 to 120 pounds of pressure on our belt. Um, so uh, you can get this gauge, make that easy to check. Another way of doing that is going back to our tension handle. When I'm pulling this handle down, I want, to be, I want it to feel about 20 pounds of pressure. Um, maybe a little bit harder to gauge, that's why you can get the tool. But if it feels a good solid 20 pounds of pressure uh, camming that over, that is also what we're looking for. Um, so a secondary way to, to check tension on our belt. If you find that your belt is too loose and we need to make an adjustment, um, this rod going through our handle, there's two collars on it, loosen the collars, pull the rod out, retighten the collars, and that increases tension on our belt. If you need more information um, or help making that adjustment uh, and you have one of our sawmills, if you have a cook sawmill, uh, we do have a how-to section on our website. Um, so give me a call, shoot me an email, and I can send you a link over to that. Um, video that goes into a little more depth on making the adjustment. Hey again, I just want to thank you all for watching our video. We do appreciate it. If you would uh, like, subscribe, comment, um, anything else that you want to see on the video, we are still taking requests. We're trying to get through them all, give some time on that. Um, but any suggestions you have, uh, we, we would love to hear them. Uh, if you will, sign up for our newsletter, uh, specials on blades, parts, meals. Uh, get first access there. And if you will, hit the um, notify button on our video. We're also doing specials on blades through our videos. You'll get first access to it there as well. Again, we appreciate it.